Good morning, everybody. My name is Darlene, and I have Parkinson's. It actually is, well, it's not good morning. It's good afternoon. But that's better for me than some days, eh? <laughs> you probably won't recognize me with light in the room. <laughs> anyway, thought I'd tell you what we're doing today. We're preparing for Gary coming tomorrow. And, you know, you know what people are like. They always want to just make things spit and spallish when they have company coming, and that's what we're doing. As well as doing the last bit of arranging of things. But now it will be completely done. There's nothing like coming to come to visit to put the push on. <laughs> Bill has gone today to uh, be pampered just a little bit before he goes tomorrow to um, have a biopsy and um, a blood test and start treatment. We'll find out about treatment after that. So we said to have a little pamper and go get your feet done. So that's what he's doing. I think he's having a good time. He's going to come home by cab because Claudine's busy. So she took him there and talked to them and made all the arrangements, and he's doing that. He should be home shortly, though. And we have got most everything in this area done. Claudine was doing some crafting, which she was enjoying yesterday, but it's pretty much done now. I've got my side table kind of reorganized. It, uh, it's a lot emptier than it was, and it feels good to not have so much clutter. It really, like, I can have, I am a clutterer. I can have tons of clutter, that's for sure. So, I'm just looking around to see if there's anything exciting there. I think the lighting here is much better. And uh, so I think the lighting's good. I haven't looked at my comments from last night's video to see whether I had any solutions to my camera issues. So I will do that, but today I have to donate my day to getting done, and then I will do that maybe this evening. I'm behind on the videos as well, which is not very good. But anyway, last night, Amazon delivered me a lovely parcel. I've been ordering different clothing and things like that. Nothing expensive. I haven't been doing anything expensive, but I have a lot of new little things around. And I just do one a day, and it feels like a treat to get something every day almost. Bill got a, a video game that was... The most expensive thing we've done in a while. We got things for the kids. And for me, I, I wanted the wardrobe. So yesterday I got another pair of pajamas, which I'm sure you'll see me because I wear them all the time. And a house coat, which I love. So I got that. Oh, I hear my husband coming in. I'm going to talk to him for a minute and then I will come back. All right. Hang on. Look at her sleeping like that. She is so adorable. She is my friend. She is totally my friend. I love her. Anyway, Bill is now home. He's had his feet done. He's been pampered. He probably wants to take a nap soon. And then we'll see what tonight brings. Maybe a Yahtzee game. Maybe some television. Maybe we'll still be busy. Who knows? But it'll be a good day. Anyway, that's the dog. I'll see if I can get you the bird. And then I'll talk again. Just one moment here. Here's the bird. If I can do it. Uh, there's the bird. That's Yoshi. All right. I'll be right back. We're back. Thought we'd talk this time, this little section, with Bill about how he's feeling. I told everybody it was his story to tell. So I'm going to let him do the telling of it. I'll maybe pop in here and there. But I'm going to let him do what telling he wants to do or doesn't want to do. And tell you how he's feeling about it. So, Bill, you go ahead and tell us what you want to tell us. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Interviewers got a person who doesn't want to be interviewed. Makes it hard. Luckily, so, he's not that person. He wants to be interviewed. Tomorrow I have to go get a bone marrow biopsy. biopsy. Same thing I had, but he had already had one before. A year ago. A year ago. Now he's having a second one. Yeah, because I've got, uh, what kind of cancer is it? Blood cancer, you've got blood cancer What's and you have called? prostate cancer. I don't know the name. Mel 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 melanoma or something? Melanoma. Melanoma, Claudine says. I have uh, two types of cancer now. I've got prostate cancer and melan melan uh -huh. melanoma. Melanoma. Now, the no, prostate. Myeloma. Sorry. Myeloma. 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 Okay, we've, we've said something wrong. So, myeloma. Now, the prostate cancer is going to be treated probably with. Radiation. radiation and so it shouldn't interfere with him having treatment for the whatever it's called the m1 
shouldn't interfere. You should be able to do both at the same time. So, okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous because it's the third cancer I've had. I would make the first anybody nervous. One. That would make anybody nervous having three types yeah, of cancer. Yeah, it would. Yeah. You beat so, the first one. Yeah. The doctor mm -hmm. said with my first one, I was the only patient he had that didn't have any side effects from chemotherapy. Well, you had a few side effects, but you didn't have any debilitating ones that caused no. you to go off the drug. I didn't lose any hair. No, different drug, you can do that. But but you did lose uh, your taste for a while. Yeah. And what else happened? Weight. Most of you, you lost weight. When I first had my first cancer, I was 252 pounds. I'm now down at 211. So he's he had those side effects and... We weren't sure whether how long the taste would be gone, but it's mostly come back. He doesn't the taste he doesn't like is my casseroles. <laughs> he used to like them, but there's something about the food being mixed now that he's not as fussy for. So we do other things, but other than that, you're doing very well. It's hard to face it again, but we know this isn't a secondary cancer of the first cancer. If this had been a secondary cancer of the first cancer, it would have been much worse. It would have shown up earlier. It may have shown up earlier, but yes, this is a, a new cancer. They tracked yeah. it two years ago, Bill. What yeah. was that thing? That um, thing that they were MGUS. tracking? MGUS. They're, they tracked something called an MGUS. And the first year it went from 3 to 11 or something. Yeah. I don't know what the numbers mean, but 3 to 11. And this last year it went from 11 to 30. So anybody that knows what MGUS is, they would know what that's about. And yeah. so tomorrow, Gary comes. It's a busy day. Gary comes at supper time. Bill goes in uh, in the morning and comes out at 1. So it's going to be a very busy day tomorrow. Now, um, do you want to say anything else about how you're feeling? or uh, A little bit nervous because it's something new for me. Are you a little bit tired or? Tired, yeah. Tired. I'm always tired though. That's part of it. That's part of it. Makes you yeah. tired. Anyway, and as I was saying last night, the wife hasn't been very nice to him sometimes. I just kind of had a sometimes. bad. Sometimes. <laughs> I've just had a bad little bad, while. Yeah. And so I'm trying to be nicer and I'd hope that he'll be nicer and we'll live a long, healthy, happy life. And so anyway, tomorrow, Gary comes. I'm looking forward to that. We're going to have some fun. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to have some fun. We're going to keep Bill's mind occupied. And we're just going to enjoy having company. It's going to be very nice to have company. I think that's about everything I have to say. Claudine, you want to say anything? Just hi. 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 Oh, dear. Yeah. Indica thought we were saying hi no, outside. No, buddy. It's not for us. All right. So do you want to come shut us off down here then? All right, sounds so, good. All right, so bye. We'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Saying hi is like yeah. ringing the doorbell. I know. Sets yes. her right <laughs> off. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye-bye.